I can see you're busy. I'll get the door. I'll be there in a second, Terry. You're in for it. Oh. Where's Terry? Good morning to you, too. Sorry, mate. I didn't mean to be rude. It's just this is normally uh, Terry's room. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we called in sick, mate. Oh. Well, if you see him, tell him to give Steve a ring, will you? Yeah, will do, mate. We wash this guy out of my hair and we can get rid of him. Yeah. You okay? Who is that? The postman. What, Terry? Strangely not, no. And the postman said he called in sick. Why is that strange? People his age get sick all the time. I'm sure there's nothing to worry about. I just thought we might have texted him or something. Look, can we worry about Terry later? We need to get rid of him first. Well, in the middle of the day. I know it's not your usual modus operandi, but I wanted to do something romantic tonight for a change. Oh, I don't know. It's... Oh, come on. It's still early. No one ever goes up there. Shit. What the hell are we going to do? They're going to find everything. We can't panic. First off, we need to get rid of what we have now. Yeah, but where? It's the middle of the day. I told you this is a stupid idea. I don't care where, we just need to get it out of the car. Should we just dump it in the lane, boy? Well, tell you what, why don't we stick on the front steps of the police station, saving a bit of time? Don't be ridiculous. Look, we've got a car full of sealed bin bags. We just need to find a bin. A bin? You actually see? We don't have time to argue. Just get us out of here. I thought something like this would happen, but I'm not prepared for it. You can't panic. Like I've told you before, if you panic, you make mistakes. Yeah, but for once we've got something to panic about. No, we haven't. Not yet. Did you see any actual construction going on? I don't know. No, you didn't. Just suits writing down facts and figures. We've got a long time yet before we need to worry. Then we need to prepare for that. I can't even remember who's buried in there. That's irrelevant. If they find just one corpse, they'll keep looking. Do you know how many bodies are buried in those woods? Probably more than you think. 
bodies that won't necessarily be linked to us. Just think how careful we've been. Yeah, but have we been? I've got too much going on in my head. Right, we need to clean the garage. No, no. Let's just go. Huh? What? Just leave. What's stopping us? But where? It doesn't matter where. Yeah, but my life's here. My friends. Your life may be here, but our life can be anywhere we want. Are you serious? As a heart attack. Look, I'm going upstairs to pack a bag, okay? You oh. grab what we need from down here. We're in this together. Together. Isabel! Isabel, I just need to pop out for two seconds! Terry? Everything's in the back. Let's go. Concentrating on the run. Just a little quiet. You sure you're okay? This is car behind us. We're following this range. Why would a car be following us? Are you sure? They probably just want to pass. There's plenty of room. It's been at my ass for ages. Are you sure they're following us? <sighs> Thank God. See, I told you there was nothing to worry about. Well, this takes me back. What is this? Some anniversary surprise? You realise? We've only been together for three months and five days. This is all very romantic, but shouldn't we have agreed on a safe word first? <laughs> Kinky. Shut up.
always found it so peaceful out here. Especially at night. The sky so clear. I could just stare at the stars for hours. I mean, just look at that. What did you do? Why did you do it? I didn't think. You didn't think what? I just didn't think. I don't know why I do these things. You said I couldn't, so I did. I don't understand why it's such a big deal. <laughs> It is a big deal. To me, it's a big deal. <laughs> he was a good guy. He was innocent. You thrown everything off balance. Everything was going so well until you came along. You've taken away the one good thing in my life. One thing? The one good thing? Steve, we were good. Yeah, we were. It's probably too late now, but you should know I've loved being with you. It's been so refreshing to sleep with someone and not have to be praying mantis afterwards. To wake up in someone's arms. Strong arms that are still attached to a body. Flattery will get you nowhere right now. Please. It's hard for me, okay? I've never really shown anyone who I am before. Who I really am. I really care about you. If that's true, then why did you do it? Why did you do the one thing I asked you not to? Because that's what I do. I'm used to playing this part. I know. And it's not just when we're hunting, it's all the time. Even with me? Especially with you. The others, it's survival, it's fun. I've never been afraid of them. I was always in control. But with you, you frighten me. I'm frightened of how you make me feel, so I do and say stupid things, and I know I'm doing it. Sorry. You've gone too far this time. I know. But I think you're getting too caught up in the details and not looking at the bigger picture. These men you kill, you think they're bad men, right? Wrong. They're just men. It's all murder, Steve. Terry was just another man. You don't understand. You'll never understand. That's why this can never work. So that's it, right? Sweep me under the rug with your other problems. Bury me with the rest of them. Not quite. I figured I'd pin all this on you as well. I took the liberty of writing the police a note on your behalf. Where will you go?
say that now? How can I believe anything you say? You can't. But you can't in any relationship. You'll never know for sure. But isn't that sort of the beauty of it?